Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to deploy a Angular SPA demo site to a local instance. So what I'll talk about, how to clone the repository, which contains Angular SPA demo site, and how to deploy it, build and deploy, and some concepts about Angular SPA demo site. So both Angular SPA and React SPA are in the same repository. Those are present in a different branches. So first you have to clone that whole repository and then we'll check out the specific branch for Angular. So to clone repository, what you have to do, there's two ways. Either you can do it through HTTP or CLI. So we'll use HTTP as, as of now. Just copy this URL and in which folder do you want to clone it? You can open either command prompt or git bash here, right? To clone a repository, the command is git clone and your HTTPS URL. Okay, this is HTTPS URL. It will clone the copy of your repository. So by default, let me go in that repository. Okay, if you want to check branch, actually, if you are using uh, git bash, it will give you the branch late the branch which is actually checkout which is actually available as of now but you can check the branch right now if you want to check git branch okay you will see the branch is main right now we have all the code so to check out that angular branch what you have to do git checkout and the name of that branch you can check the branch here itself go to the repo and if you see here main main is the main branch as of now and you can search for this these are the branches if you you start searching you will get those branches you see this latest angular slash latest and react so we need this branch okay this is the branch you just copy the name of this here and because we clone that that means all the branches has come to our local now we have to just check out this branch so what you can do git checkout and then copy inside copy how you can do shift and insert enter so it will switch to a different branch now if you see this is my current branch okay even you can confirm with that command git branch this is the angular git branch is angular right now now what you can do this is our branch now see the code has been checked out now earlier it was nothing here so as i told you these projects has been built for AEM as a cloud service, but still you can deploy it to, you know, uh, the AEM, AEM 6.5, AEM 6.4, right? Uh, so there's a specific parameter you have to add while build. So you'll get all that information in this file, readme file. You always check the readme file. And for this is the normal command which you use to deploy and build to a local, but you have to add this hyphen p classic, right? Just copy this, copy this. If you memorize, just memorize and type it here. Okay. So now shift insert, this has been copies. Now just build it, okay? So it will build and deploy your Angular SPA demo site, a local instance, which is running on 4502. Once the deployment is done, you should see a, another SPS website in your AEM. So if I reload this now, that's why I'm doing in front of you, you must see one more project here, one more website actually. So you will see WSPA Angular, Weekend SPA Angular project. Now the rest of the concepts are same, which I did explain while the React SPA. Okay, now let me open this home page. So the single page application load at the client side means at the first time it will try to load as much as possible content at the first request. Why I'm saying as much as possible because this is configurable. You can configure it. So and rest of the it will not make a call to the server until it has the data and data is transferred in form of JSON. So when you load this page, you will see a JSON en dot model here. So if I open this, you see there is a home page and page one and page two. So the, you see the content of home page, page one, page two has been requested and come at the client side into your browser. So if you come here and let's say I go to the first page, you should not see another request to server. See, nothing, nothing happened here. It's a page one 
and a page two nothing happened but as soon as you request for the page three because that content is not with the client means not with the browser it should send a request for the third page this is the old story so if i click on this you see another request and request is only for the page three not entire other old pages so if you open you will see here it's only for page three not entire entire hierarchy so now if you try to load this for the old pages it will not send any request any request for either of the page because the content is at the client okay now let me create one more page okay let me create a page under this okay and using spa page template let's say page 4 and I'm done okay so now uh, let me let me close this and if I refresh this again you will see okay let me refresh let me do it WCM disabled close this and now so if you will seeing here right in the first request it requests for the content of till page 2 if I need let's say I want like in the first request itself I can I should get the content of page 3 and page 4 as well so this can be done in template let's go to the templates templates okay and angular templates and you will see the root there are two templates right which is for root and one for normal pages so let's edit that right now go to the properties page policies and you will see the hierarchical structure so hierarchical structure the structure depth it is fine too that means that means let me go back that means okay this is my root if you see here this is the root from root it will request for the first two level dev2 one two that's why it is in the first request it is getting data only for till this depth okay if i create one more page here like let's say page five so that page five content will also come in the first request so if i change it now so if i change it to three did i change let me do it one more time let me check okay we did not save it let me do it three or let me do it four okay and save it All right and if i go back So now it should load the content of this page this page and this page and this also okay now let me refresh the home page again let me close this first this is the home okay this is home if I refresh this now okay en model if I open this en model now you should see the home first second third and even the fourth page has been come because i added i added the depth till four so till this level till this level it will fetch the request in a one go okay so if i load this but it's to you in this you don't see the page four right that is the different thing you have to in navigation component you have to define depth that's a different story that is not related to SPA functionality but I'll show you that as well but for now let me show this if I click this earlier on click of this it was making a new request if I click this three now it will not make any request here okay okay to fix this navigation go to template SPA page and go to this navigation go to the structure structure and go header 
if you see this navigation structure depth so you can increase it for now it's taking till three so let me increase four let me do it four so now at the level of this means depth of four it will start picking component well, pages but it's not at all related to spa this is the generic thing or thing old story so if i load now let's say refresh so now menu should have four pages and it is here it is right and it's not making any request so i hope you understood if you have any question please do comment thank you